Welcome again to the Gaming Codex, a show where I try to explain to you all the various terms used within video games and the video games industry. And you can be sure we're gonna be here for a few years. Today's term is the roguelike. And what exactly is a roguelike? Well, according to the general definition, a roguelike game is one belonging to a sub-genre of role-playing video games characterized by a dungeon crawl through procedurally generated game levels turn-based gameplay, tile-based graphics, and permanent death of the player character. In broad terms, yes, this very well describes the general shape of a roguelike game, specifically of one roguelike game, Rogue, which was the first one. Well, technically, no, it wasn't the exact first game of this type, but it was among the first, it was the most popular, it was the one that defined the general recipe for this kind of game. It's a game where you go through a dungeon that's ever-changing, you'll not, well, you'll often not get the same dungeon twice when you start the game again, and you will restart it again because as you go through this dungeon you will die constantly, quickly, and sometimes because you didn't understand things like don't drink every potion you find, mostly because everything you find in a roguelike is at first unidentified. So there's a bit of experimentation involved in actually figuring out what heals you, what doesn't, what's good for you, and how best to tackle the enemies that will inevitably kill you. And the mechanics through which this kind of gameplay is implemented are also subject to the Berlin interpretation. And by that I mean that they had a conference where they define exactly what the roguelike is. So you have elements like combat and movement taking place within the same action. Roguelike games have evolved over the years to gain much, much more complexity than the original game had, with games like NetHack adding a plethora of new options like having pets, having graphics that aren't just ashy characters, but still being tile-based. Increasingly complex gameplay mechanics that involve multiple statistics, items, inventory, ability to eat anything you find, enhanced exploration of your environment, enhanced interaction with it, a huge focus on managing your resources because you'll not have a lot of them unless you play an easy. But the basic idea remains the same. You travel through a dungeon or something that is akin to a dungeon, which is generated randomly. You'll never find the same place twice, usually. Usually, your combat is probably still gonna be turn-based and you're gonna die. And when you do, all your progress is lost. You restart from the beginning, though sometimes you are allowed to keep at least a symbolic token of your progress. Sometimes it's actually an item or a bit of experience or just again symbolic like a high score, a you died here last time, your tomb in the place, well at least on the level you died. Now what is the popular definition of a roguelike? Well that would be a game where you go through a procedural dungeon to kill and loot stuff. That's not really completely exact because roguelikes are really well defined by the idea that you live, you die, you live again, witness me, maybe not the last bit, and you go through an adventure that has a certain style to it, a certain pace to it, one that is about as slow as you want it at times, where management of resources is very important, and again where danger lurks at every turn. So not everything with a procedural dungeon where you kill and loot stuff is a roguelike. Those are usually dungeon crawlers or hack and slash RPGs, if you can even call them RPGs, like Diablo. They're not even what you would call rogue lights. Roguelike, by the way, is a term used to describe games like Rogue, but are a bit more lenient on certain aspects. For example, they don't have turn-based combat, maybe, or they don't really have that much of a stake on the whole you die forever and ever and ever component of it. The term, I believe, was coined by the makers of Rogue Legacy. Alternatively, you could also use the term roguelike-like to refer to these kind of games, or if you really, really want to, roguelike-like-like, with the idea that each like dilutes the concept of rogue a bit more. Whereas one like is one generation removed from rogue, so it is still pretty much as close to it as possible, each subsequent generation 
dwindles that idea to just the broad shape of it or just one or two components of it. Sort of like a 15th generation vampire in Vampire the Masquerade. They aren't really all that vampiric but they kind of have the general aspect idea of it. Now what is the marketing definition of a roguelike? Well that would be the next thing we'll pump all the enjoyment out of. Roguelikes are going to be one of the next big genres. You know, like uh, the Battle Royale thing is right now. Not that roguelikes aren't big, I mean, they are consistently selling games, even though the core concept of the genre is over 30 years old. But you haven't seen big budget affairs of this kind. But you may see them soon. Because a roguelike sort of takes all the check marks of things people actually sort of kind of enjoy and it's only been shown that there's profit in that with games like Dark Souls, with stuff like Player Unknown's Battleground and all the other survival stuff that's come over in the last couple of years. You've got all the core mechanics, all the difficulty in a roguelike and you're gonna see big budget ones being made that progressively miss more and more of the idea of a roguelike. They're gonna take out features, they're gonna make them real time, they're gonna make them Eventually, they're gonna make them absolute horrid crap. And not in the sense that they're gonna dilute it to the point where it's a roguelite and not a roguelike. No, I mean, you're gonna probably see the destruction of the genre, the perversion of the genre, the molestation of the roguelike as you've seen with the RPG, as you've seen with the FPS, as you've seen with many, many, many games in the last couple of years, decades actually. It's gonna be a sad day when this happens. But until then, let's just enjoy what roguelikes we have and what roguelike likes likes we have too. So closes this edition of the Gaming Codex. Come back next time when I will talk to you about a different kind of game.